Welcome to this channel. Today, I'd like to share with you a really basic problem. And now, it has become a really serious problem in traditional Chinese martial art culture for general public. This problem need to be fixed or else there is no traditional Chinese martial art, period. And of course, what I'm going to share with you is not applied to the entire world. There are still many, many, many people know this, but in general public, in general, people already don't know about this. And it is this stuff which is break the traditional Chinese martial art out of the reality. Thus, traditional Chinese martial art is never like uh, Western boxing, never like wrestling, never like BJJ, never like uh, Thai boxing. This is the problem. Okay? Now, so what is the problem? The problem is most of traditional Chinese martial art today have lost the knowledge of the body methods like I share in the previous video. When this body method is lost, one is no longer live in reality of martial arts. One living in somewhere else. So let me share with you what is going on and uh, why this happened now and uh, how to fix it. Because as you know, in this channel, we want to see a solution. It's not just uh, whining at things or putting down things. Education means we point out the problem and we provide the solution so everybody can improve. Education is not like uh, in the in the court fighting for business benefit that you dig on other people's stuff, you step on other people, just want to win. Education means you pinpoint a problem and then you tell the entire world and you give them the solution and let's fix it once for all. You take five minutes to fix it. If we have the solution. Without the solution, everybody can guessing and so forth, so forth. Okay. So, that is the intention. I don't want to be in any style, any uh, I'm better fighter than you, all those stuff. Education means show the problem, provide the solution and fix it. So everybody out of the wood. Okay. So, of course you're going to ask me, Oh, Hendrik, what are you going to base at? Well, let me tell you, the ancient Chinese have wrote down things, really details. They define it really detailed. Okay, the ancient, if you know how to read ancient classic, how to track them, you can track from one classic to another classic. It is really details that you see what it is there. Now, the problem come as uh, as I wrote in the Wing Chun Inception, May 4th, 1919, which is 100 years ago. The Chinese start to use the modern language today. You, you, you hear people speak and write. And because of that, the ancient classic today is 
no longer understood by uh, usual common Chinese. Okay? And even worse for the Westerner who study Chinese, they do not know the ancient Chinese language or the classical Chinese, which is prior to 1919. And of course, they have no idea on uh, what Chinese classic to track if you need this definition, this refer to this, that refer to that document. And then the ancient is not understood today. Okay? Both the Chinese don't understood it and the, 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 the Westerner scholar and all this guru in Chinese culture and martial art don't understand it. And okay. Because people don't understand it, when all these things come to the West or the today's uh, 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 democratic world, everybody think that everything can be up for interpretations. Okay? So everybody have their own interpretations or their uh, explanations and they can say, oh, this is what my Sifu teach me. Or every style have different. However, they have not seen, they are not studied what really in the writing of traditional Chinese martial art describe what it is. Okay? And so, the same with the Western scholar, they went to China and then they just uh, say, I'm going to translate this and uh, I'm going to interpret this their way. So you lost everything. Now, the core of traditional Chinese martial arts, the real deal of tra traditional Chinese martial arts, is the classic of General Chi Chi Guang, 1560. So as in uh, Restricting Wing Chun, if you have it, it is just this single pitch this single pitch, one pitch, okay? And most people after 1990 either don't know what is in that pitch or don't even care to look into it, okay? And of course, there are some Western scholars who do translation. However, they even go so far in have a good English, but they do not know what is inside there. So they translate whatever they, they, they think. And of course, they have some Chinese uh, uh, advisor. And the issue is that those advisor have no idea what it is. So how is the uh, Western scholar supposed to know what it is? Okay. So, Let's get into the, the first few sentences of this Chi Chi Guang article. Okay, the first few sentences in the Chi Chi Guang article. So here, he said that in Mandarin, Xie Qian Yao, Sen Fa Huo Bian, Shou Hua Bian Li, Jiao Hua Qing Gu. This is what the first thing, okay? So what did he say? He said, to study martial art, the body method must be flexible. Hand techniques must be agile and breeze and study, study in football. So meaning that to study martial art, one first need to develop 
a flexible body handling, body method, senfa. Body method is body handling. One has to develop a flexible one. Okay, now. Only after you have the body method, the, the, the flexible body method develop, or handling of the body develop, then it comes with the agile of the hand techniques and the breeze and study in footwork. From here, you know that without the body method, hand techniques and footwork is useless because this is the core okay the chinese is really specific and they provide you sequence and details while general chi chi guan wrote his book is not to uh, to win the uh, the top seller general chi chi guan wrote the book to give out to to pass out is to train his army to fight the japanese pirate Okay, it's a life and death situation. So it's like an army. You deliver this manual, the S SOP, standard operating manual, okay, standard operating procedure outside, do this, okay, because we're going to fight the Japanese pirates. So this is what he said the body ma uh, method or the handling of body must be flexible. And then it comes, the next is the hand technique has to be agile and breeze and steady in the footwork. So the body method is the, the, uh, the, 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 the core, the key. Without that, there is no martial art. Okay, this is study martial arts. Now, the body method must be flexible. There is a definition. If you check into the uh, Shaolin, uh, uh, short strike cannon okay it, it defined for you this body method flexible okay it is a priority number one it say that in the Shaolin short strike cannon that body method is like the general in your army you need to get that thing straight first the general okay and it has three definitions on what is flexible it means the torso the arm the, the torso, the leg, the arm has to be in you in, in unity. Okay, in one piece. The second is torso, leg, arm need to be able to contract in and extend out. Okay. The third is the torso, leg, arm as a unit must be able to do acceleration as needed. So the definitions of flexible is this three. So in the general Chi Chi Guang uh, army training manual, you need to train this way, your, your body handling or body method, and only after that your hand techniques and your footwork okay now and you can we can we can find it in Shaolin short strike classic that this is the the definition for for this thing okay we know it clearly if you want to have a flexible body you need to have this okay now you look around today like only yesterday in the uh, uh, Today in the Wing Chun group, in, in the group, the art of Wing Chun group, I ask people say, well, look at this, uh, this, uh, this, this Tai Chi set, does it have the uh, 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 body method? And you know what is the reply? Uh, you go all over the place, like the Tai Chi, soft Qi Gong, and the Shaolin is the hard style. When people tell me that, I know right away they never carefully comprehend what is my YouTube. I just present yesterday about wake up and you know, stop to make those, uh, those, 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 those dance, traditional Chinese martial arts, okay? And you see, 
people don't understand what is going on and keeping using that uh, Shaolin is the hard style, uh, uh, Tai Chi is the soft style. You know, what is that? That's exactly what happened today. Since 100 years ago, when the Chinese no longer using the, the, the classical Chinese language, everybody create their own stuff and then they just give Allah by, oh, this is how my teacher teach me. This is how uh, 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 every style is different. This is how uh, uh, the Shaolin, this is how is uh, 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 Wudang, all nonsense. Well, this is the bottom line of traditional Chinese martial arts. And people don't go read it. People don't, don't, don't re, uh, go investigate and find out what happened. And keeping speculate and whatever they want and they end up like today. Now, you look into this. You go to any martial art, like Western boxing. Look at how Mike Tyson handling his body. Didn't they have this? Didn't he train this way? Look at Thai boxer. Look at Westra. Didn't they train this way? So if traditional Chinese martial art keeping going to this hand technique, that hand technique, this footwork, that footwork, have completely void or empty in the body footwork, uh, uh, body handling, the body method. You expect what happened, okay? So today, the reason why you, you know, like Si Xiao Dong said, you know, you all have these techniques and everything, but you know, in, 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 in the real fight, you cannot do it and so forth. That's exactly what it is. You, you, you do not have the core. It's like you have a computer without a CPU. <clears throat> you have a computer without a CPU, or you have a cell phone without a, the, the microcontroller. What is that thing going to do? Fancy screen, fancy keyboard, but have no CPU inside your computer. So, so this is a problem. You want to fix the traditional Chinese martial art problem for in general? Okay, not everybody. I want to uh, emphasize here, okay? Many people know this. Many, many Sifu in Asia who, 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 or my senior in Asia, they know about this, okay? So not everybody, but general people. When people start talking about Tai Chi has to be a soft internal energy, Qi, Shaolin is hard, I know they don't know this. It is nonsense, okay? It doesn't matter you are, you are what style. If you don't follow this, follow those, don't call it martial arts. Because Chinese don't, don't, don't do that. You want to be, have a religion in the, in the, in the, in the cave, uh, 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 praying to a Taoist monk or whatever, that's your problem. But traditional Chinese martial arts didn't say that. Okay? And, it is so simple. How much effort do you think you're just going to translate all this page? And not to mention this is only a few a few sentences here, a few phase here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen Chinese characters. And you get Hundreds of years of people go around and around and all this grandmaster and all this thing internal and all this chi and everything have no idea what it is. Just look at that. What are you going to say? That's why without this, you always say, oh, you know, Chinese Kung Fu do uh, practice one way when they fight, they use Western boxing. Why? Because they never be able to handle this. And the body method, they have common denominator and they have different. It's just like the body method of uh, 
of say the, uh, the, the dog style of Fujian, who is going down to the ground, and say Choi Leifa, which is very good in the, you know, on the ground, uh, on uh, 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 standing up, like Tornado, and the, uh, and the dog is going down, they have to fulfill this, however they have uniqueness. Without having this basic, understand this, know this, and then develop the uniqueness, how are you going to supposed to use it in the real life? Can you imagine a BJJ friend who never trained this? And keeping say, I'm going to grab you here, I'm going to grab you here, I'm going to choke you this, but have no idea on their body and never roll under the ground. And just laying down there, oh, I'm going to grab you here, grab you there. That's exactly what happened. Okay. So, as in my group, I kick people out when they don't really study. I don't mind if people ask me questions. But when I put the video in front of you and you don't study and you don't, you don't, you don't really comprehend, well, when people study, they don't understand, they can ask me, I never scream at people. But when people just go out of the edge like, do you have the uh, body method here? See, look at it. And say, so, oh, this is uh, a Tai Chi. It is so internal with Qi Gong. And then the, the, uh, the, the Shaolin is hard. Then I know you don't even pay attention to what I'm talking about. And you don't learn. So if this place, this is a class for learning, you are not supposed to be here. So this is the problem. Okay, you want to fix traditional Chinese martial arts, fix this first, disregard of style. Go into here, fix it. So like when we want to fix a computer, go inside there, look at the CPU. Does it work, function or not? And for the short strike Wing Chun, <coughs> 1850, chapter five and six. The functional training is the solution for this. It gives you the details, every details on what one should do to do it. Okay, it's in restricting Wing Chun. So as what I say, it is uh, education. We know what happened. We know what's going wrong. We know what is the proper. We know what is the solution. And I didn't add one single opinion of mine. I just tell you what it is. <clears throat> okay? And as what I mentioned, if one don't want to learn, I'm not going to waste my time. But for people who want to learn, for people who care, if you invest in your martial art for so long, don't you want to know what is, what is the truth there? What is the ancient Chinese do? If you develop this, then your hand techniques, your hand techniques and your footwork making sense. You know right away it making sense. Like you look at the uh, the, the, so for example, the Chai Lei Fat, the Hong Seng Chai Lei Fat, their body methods is like a gyros, spinning, a gyros. So when they do the, the strike, which is the hand techniques, you see how powerful it is. And of course, the hand techniques come with the footwork because it is supporting the gyros. Body handling. Okay. So you see the beauty of it. Same with the dog fist. Same with the Western boxing. You look at their body method. You see the beauty of it. And then you see the, the how they throw the jab and the hook. And how the footwork go with it. You see the beauty with it. It is an art. But... 
the minute you lost the body method, the body handling, you have nothing there. It's void, it is empty. Okay? So if you're keeping standing there and playing south, or, or this technique have this ching, or this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this mind power, what are you talking about? Since 460 years ago, 18, uh, 1560, it, uh, 460 years ago, 1560, when General Chi Ji Guang wrote this SOP or the manual to train his army to fight the uh, Japanese pirate until today, look at in the MMA. Same rule. Because it's human. So this is to share with you. See, I cannot go uh, 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 like uh, uh, choke at people, ask them to learn. But I present the reality. And what is the problem and how to fix it? So one start need to think. Whatever I practice, do I have the body method? And if one do have the body method, like if one uh, trying out this one and uh, as well keeping showing with the red boat training band, you take only what, one or two weeks and you look at people practice sets, you say, oh my God, he doesn't have body uh, uh, methods. If you don't have body methods, you will not have momentum. That's what it is. Okay? So this is uh, to share with you. This is a serious problem need to fix if we want traditional Chinese martial art to be functional. And by the way, stop on those alibi on internal, Tai Chi is soft, internal is soft, uh, Shaolin is hard. Have you ever seen those internal guy fighting in the war zone like in Chi Chi Guang? That's why I always ask people. Everybody said their grandmaster, their Taoist grandmaster, blah, blah, blah. But I said, how come when General Chi Chi Guang fight the Japanese pirate in 1560, none of those things exist? And now this is the SOP or standard operating uh, uh, process or standard, standard operating manual, you want to follow this or just follow all your nonsense uh, alibi? And if you look, check it with it really seriously, those things are created by the fiction writer after 1900. Because the fiction writer have no idea on the body method, so they keep being talking about this hand, that hand, this footwork, that footwork. Just go read the Chinese uh, uh, martial art novel. They say, oh, this is a hand technique. You can push that guy away. And you, you this hand technique, he dissolve it. And I use this footwork, he can be so agile. You know that he have no idea on what is the, 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 the right, uh, the, the author have no idea on what is the, the, uh, the, the body methods. And this is what is the thing which is cause traditional Chinese martial do not work.